In this video, we're going to continue with aerobic respiration. So we're going to look at the second and third stage of aerobic respiration. Second stage being the link reaction and the third stage being the Krebs cycle. Now, both of these reactions take place in the mitochondria and more specifically in the matrix of the mitochondria. So you might remember at the end of glycolysis, we'd made two molecules of a three carbon compound called pyruvate. That pyruvate is gonna be actively transported into the mitochondria, across the mitochondrial membrane. So obviously it's active transport, it requires energy from ATP, also requires a carrier protein, but we're gonna actively transport pyruvate into the matrix of the mitochondria. Now, what's gonna to happen to that pyruvate? Well, first of all, we can say it's gonna be decarboxylated, which means it's gonna lose carbon dioxide. It's also gonna be oxidized, or you can say dehydrogenated because it's gonna lose hydrogen. That hydrogen is gonna be accepted by the coenzyme NAD. So it's gonna form NADH or reduced NAD. Because we've decarboxylated it, it's lost a carbon. It's lost carbon dioxide. So we've now got a two carbon compound called acetate, and that is gonna join with coenzyme A to form acetal coenzyme A. And that's it. The link reaction is really simple. It's all just about getting acetal CoA, which can then feed into stage three, which is the Krebs cycle. But let's just summarize what we've actually made here. So per link reaction, per just one of these, we've made one CO2, one NADH and one acetal CoA. But what we must remember is that per molecule of glucose, this would happen twice because in glycolysis per glucose, we make two pyruvates. So if we're asked per glucose, we'd say the link reaction made two CO2 when pyruvate is decarboxylated, two NADH when our pyruvates are oxidized and two acetal CoA. So let's move on to the Krebs cycle, stage three aerobic respiration, still in the matrix of the mitochondria. This uses the acetal-CoA from the link reaction. So the acetal-CoA, the coenzyme, is simply carrying the two carbon acetate into the Krebs cycle. And the two carbon acetate, I'll just show there, two carbons, the two carbon acetate is gonna join with a four carbon compound to make a six carbon compound. The coenzyme A can actually go back to be reused again in the link reaction. So this coenzyme A is being recycled if you like, but the um, acetate group that it carried into the Krebs cycle, which had two carbons, is joining with a four carbon compound to make a six carbon compound. Now for AQA, you don't need to know the names of these compounds, although some teachers do teach you them. The four carbon compound is called um, oxaloacetate. The six carbon compound is called citrate or citric acid, which is why this is also known as the citric acid cycle. But all we need to say is that the two carbon acetate joins with a four carbon compound to make a six carbon compound. And then we can simplify it even further because we basically then just need to get back from our six carbon compound to our four carbon compound. We don't even need to mention this intermediate five carbon compound, but I've put it on there anyway. There are two main types of reactions involved. We've got decarboxylation, and that's quite easy to remember. Ooh, writing that going down. That's quite easy to remember because obviously we've got to go from six carbons to four carbons. So we need to lose two carbons. So it's easy to remember we're going to decarboxylate the six carbon compound twice and we're going to produce two carbon dioxides. But the six carbon compound is also going to be oxidized. It's going to lose hydrogen. So it loses hydrogen here which is accepted by coenzyme called NAD to form NADH. It loses more hydrogen here. In fact, between the five carbon compound and the four carbon compound, it will lose another three hydrogen. And that's gonna be accepted by NAD to form NADH and FAD to form FADH. And in fact, we're gonna get two NADHs forming here and one FADH forming here. 
as well as this one NADH forming here. You can simplify it even further, guys. I've kind of split it into six carbon to five carbon, then five carbon to four carbon. For AQA, you can literally just say the six carbon compound is decarboxylated, which produces two CO2, and it's oxidized in total, leading to production of three NADH and one FADH, or you can call these reduced NADs and reduced FAD. So it's that simple. So many people try and learn more than they need to for the Krebs cycle. You don't have to know the names of the compounds. You don't have to know for AQA when exactly these things take place. You just need to know you get decarboxylation, you get oxidation or the loss of hydrogen. So you get the formation of reduced coenzymes. Something that I've missed you also make one molecule of ATP by substrate level phosphorylation. So you've got a donor molecule donating a phosphate to ADP to form one molecule of ATP. Again, let's think about the products because this is what's important. Per cycle, you're going to get two carbon dioxides, three NADH, one FADH, and one ATP. But per glucose, you have to remember to double it because if you've got glucose, you would have made two pyruvates, you would have had two link reactions and two acetyl-CoAs, so two times around on the Krebs cycle, if you like. So per glucose, you would have got four carbon dioxide, six NADH, two FADH, and two molecules of ATP produced by substrate level phosphorylation. So the link reaction itself doesn't make any ATP. Krebs cycle only makes one per cycle or two per glucose. We still haven't made that much, but what we're gonna see now is all of these hydrogens, yeah, carried by our NADHs and our FADH, all being carried to the Criste for the final stage of aerobic respiration, which is oxidative phosphorylation. And we're gonna use those hydrogens to make loads of ATP in that final stage of aerobic respiration. Guys, I hope you find this simplified explainer video useful. For AQA biology, don't learn more than you have to, because remember, most of the questions are gonna be application-based anyway.